Hello, this is Michael Oluidi. Today, I'm going to be showing you a simple drum fill based on a linear phrasing concept. Linear phrasing simply means no two limbs are going to be playing at the same time. So for this drum fill, our sticking is right, left, left, kick. Right, left, left, kick. If you're leading with your left hand, it's going to be left, right, right, kick. Left, right, right, kick. Yes, if you're right-handed, don't use that as an excuse not to practice leading with your left hand. Same way if you're left-handed. This will help you to be able to play in an open-handed manner. So the first thing to do is to master our hand combination, which is right, left, left. This may sound or come out simple, but the fact that we are leaving out a 16 notes at the end of every beat, it makes it a little trickish. So there's need for us to actually practice these stickings first on the ends, then we add the foot kick, then we can orchestrate it on the drum set. So the first thing to do, like I said, is to practice the end combination. And to do this, I would advise you observe a quarter note pause on your i -hat. So if you're observant, you'll notice I'm accenting the single stroke notes in this end combination. It's actually on purpose and it's meant to create a clear contrast between the singles and the doubles. So this is actually the sweet point of this drum feel. So the next thing we're going to do is play the kick drum relative to the quarter note pause on the i hat. It's very important you practice this in isolation so you get the right feel and placement of the kick drum. So the next thing to do is to combine the and combination with the kick drum. So we're going to observe a quarter note pause as always and let's do it. So now we're going to orchestrate the right hand single stroke on the toms, on the cymbals, on your high hat, and we keep every other thing constant. So in like manner, we're going to move the left hand doubles across the drums. But in this case, the right hand on the snare drum will not be constant. I will have to move it to the right cymbal or to the auxiliary i hat if need be. That is when I'm playing the tom two or the floor tom. That way it makes the movement easier and fluid. I'm sure you can guess what the next line of action is going to be, which is for us to orchestrate this sticking between our ends and the kick across the drums at will. So you can decide to keep your quarter note pause, or you can actually let go of it and play freely.
You can further push this drum fill by playing it over a 16 note triplet subdivision. So I'm going to play it on the 16 note grid, then I'll move to the 16 note triplet grid. So basically you can play around with this drum feel by combining the different note subdivision, 16 notes to 16 note triplet. At your will, you can orchestrate and move your hands around the drum set as long as it creates a pleasing sound to your ears and it serves the music you're playing. And there you go with this simple linear drum feel. I hope you've learned something new, and I hope you're gonna have lots of fun trying out this drum feel. Please remember to tag me when you post a video of yourself playing this drum feel. And also remember to like and share this video with your friends. And if there's any topic you'd like me to treat in subsequent videos, please leave me a message in the comment section below. And if you're yet to subscribe to my channel, please do so by clicking the subscribe button below and remember to click the notification bell so you get notified when my videos are uploaded. See you next time. Bye-bye.